Okay, so it, it, you learn a lot from 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 receiving such questions and 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 trying to to answer the questions. So I'm asking my resident monks now who's been receiving Chan training. How do you how do you answer the question? He says, How do I how do you sit in meditation after you after you read the book already? The book says yes, you you have these various postures and and um, and so forth, and but uh, since uh, we emphasize sitting meditation, the question is a very good one. How do you teach someone? Okay, what's the proper? What is sitting meditation? What's the proper form of sitting meditation? Hmm? You know, in fact, personally, I struggled for that with that question for about several years. For several years, my first several years of meditation. Um, I wondered, I wondered because I, uh, my, my main teacher passed away uh, just a few months after I became a left form person. And then I, I went from uh, one disciple, from disciples with his, one after another, to try to learn from them. Okay? Because he, before he passed away, he said, I'm leaving you now, but uh, you, senior monks, I suppose he helped me train the next next generation. That's what his final instructions were. So, that's, so I made sure to go into the, the monks and the nuns, whoever, and I could, would ask them, uh, how do I practice? What is, how do you meditate? And each one of them, uh, either they refused to teach me, okay, because I was too arrogant, to be honest with you, or uh, if they teach me at all, they would contradict each other. So it bothered me a long, long time for several years. I didn't know what is sitting meditation, frankly. Mm. So I prepared this book on, on uh, Chan Handbook, thinking that I would, answer, would have answered the question. But people still, still, they still ask the same question. How do I do sitting meditation? What is it? Am I doing it right? That's the very same concern I had originally for several years. Am I, sitting it, am I doing it right? Why is it each of my uh, teachers, uh, people, who have been trained under him for, for 10, 15 years, 20 years, they would teach differently? Why is that? And then, why is it they didn't teach what my teachers taught, what I thought he would emphasize in his uh, Chan training? Yet they didn't teach it anymore. It bothered me for a long, long time. So I'm asking you now, all these uh, you who, who have been meditating, including you as well, you and old as well, uh, how, do you sit in, how do you do sitting meditation? How do you know you're doing it right? Don't look at me like that. I'm asking you the question. You sit and it hurts like a devil, then you know it's all right. It says, you sit and it hurts like a devil, then you know you're doing it right. Yeah. <laughs> Có người trả lời đó là nó là thì cái thắc mắc hoài là nhiều năm cái thắc mắc không biết ngồi có đúng không tọa thiền cũng phương pháp luyện thiền rất quan trọng mình biết là ngồi nhiều có đúng không cái thắc mắc hoài bảy tám năm trời tại mỗi thằng thầy đệ tử ngày thì hóa dạy một cái phương pháp khác mỗi trước có nhiều người những thầy giỏi sẽ không thêm dạy thầy nhiều tại coi thầy ngạo mạn đó không có thêm dạy hôm giờ có người trả lời nó ngồi tọa thiền đúng có nghĩa là ngồi mở đầu đầu điếng gọi là đúng Yes, the rest of you who are not uh, uh, masochistic, uh, what is the proper way of sitting meditation? Yes? What's the proper way, What's the proper way of doing sitting meditation? Yes? And this is a challenge of this you're going to face for you monks. You're going to. You don't know who they are. They throw a question at you like that. And you have to answer them to help them, as well as answer, help the other readers who read it as well. And you can't overdo it because the more verbose you become, the less credible you will be, the more confused they get. Yes? We don't even know who she is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which level she's at. That's always a challenge. How do you, 
Yeah. I think doing it every day is the key without stopping it. Okay. Yeah. So two aspects. There's a there's a pain involved, and there is doing it every day. And có hai phương diện nó mới trả lời. Người tòa thiền là phải ngồi chỉ định cái đau. Là thứ gì là ngồi mỗi ngày. Yes. Okay. And Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Commit to to a a, a daily uh, training, a daily daily sits. Okay. Anyone else? I got a kidney cut out. Yes. I'm not gonna be here to cover your your you, know, you for you all the time. People come in and throw things like this at you. How do you answer them? I, you see, the first technique I use is I ask them to help out. Right? Yes. Uh, also, if it's a new person, wouldn't you want to maybe talk to them and find out where they're coming from or what their background is? Ask them some more questions first? Here's a, qu here's a question. You, you missed the point. The point is that we don't know who this person is. No, we need to help her as well as the other readers. The people are interested in learning whether they're doing it right. How do you assure people that their sitting meditation is proper? From all levels. See, we, we, don't, we, cannot, we don't know who the, 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 the person who put in the question is. So you have to answer in a general way that will meet you know, will take care of, of many different types of levels, different levels. Okay? Is it clear? You can't, you can't ask them, who are you? How old are you? you know? What's your purpose? What's your role in meditation? You can't. Yes? Anyone? Anyone else? Yes. Uh, well, maybe if they feel that they're becoming, you know, uh, kinder or less angry, uh, less afflicted. What does it have to do with sitting meditation? I thought the question was, how do they know that they're making progress? Or... No. Am I, am I, am I uh, doing sitting meditation properly? That's the question. It's not a, about making progress. You're worried about the fundamentals. Am I doing it right? This is a very smart question. Very good question. If I meditate and you claim you, you, you should, you, that I should be doing sitting meditation, am I doing it right? Okay? I learned, by the way, it's funny, uh, because I learned uh, during my search for training Chan meditation techniques. Uh, one of my uh, masters, late masters, uh, uh, monk teachers, he taught me a, a, a lot of uh, different meditation techniques, and one of which is a Taoist meditation technique. He, he, he researched it as well. They nhớ lại, tôi đi học, đi học, tìm tòi, nghiên cứu học thì Pháp Môn Cách, Pháp Môn Thiền của Ngài Tiên Hóa đó. Một cái đệ tử Ngài Tiên Hóa dạy thầy đủ thứ đó dạy pháp này pháp môn này pháp môn nọ xong rồi còn dạy luôn pháp môn của bên ngoại đạo luôn nữa, bên bên đạo giáo nữa thì một trong pháp môn mà họ ông dạy đó là ông làm như sao uh, the the part of meditation uh, uh, okay you internet people uh, don't be too alarmed uh, this is a, uh, the next phase you move your, your lips and <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. You know, this is the kind of nonsense I put up with. I, I learned so many things. And, and, and you, you, I don't want to make faces too much because then uh, people will never tune in to, uh, to us again uh, if they, after they look at my faces. Uh, but anyway, the, the next face, you, 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 you move all the muscles in your face as part of meditation training as well. I don't know why it had anything to do with sitting meditation, but uh, that's what I learned. Yes, anyone else?
Yes? Um, are you concentrating on your Dantian and deciding Amitabha name? Mm. Here's what I would do. Very good. Oh, you're right. Here's the challenge. The challenge is that uh, the way I look at it is number one. Number one. Okay? The person who asks such question is interested in learning meditation. Okay? You should recognize it right away. Yeah. Uh, okay? So what you do, the first thing is you encourage them. You encourage such a person right away. Okay? You say, you say, yes, sitting meditation is a good thing you learn. You want to learn about sitting meditation because it's very good for you. Okay? Because if you do sitting meditation properly, first of all, you have to, to, uh, to empathize. You say, okay, if you do sitting meditation properly, okay, then uh, your health will improve. Your health will improve, period. It's going to get better. You will uh, you'll be healthier. Uh, you have more stamina. Okay? So uh, this is one, uh, this is a kind of uh, uh, results that you can see very quickly if you apply the proper sitting meditation technique. Okay? For example, I just talked to, uh, what is your, your name again? Shu? Shu? Shu That's Chinese? Mm -hmm. You have to write it for me. Shukli. Really? Shukli? What does it mean? Um, the shuk means, I think, feminine or ladylike. Uh huh. Shuk. Uh huh. And li is the pair. Pair. Li. Li. Okay. Shukli. Yeah. Cantonese. Ah, no wonder I couldn't recognize. Yeah. I, le I know a little bit of Mandarin, but no Cantonese. Mm. Anyway, um, she says, Shukli says, he says, um, I, 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 I like to practice Chan, but I run into a wall because I, it seems like there is a, there is a, during the sit, uh, there's a sit, there is a time where it gets to be so painful, I can't go beyond it, okay? And even in the book, we suggest you, you try to sit a little bit longer in two minutes increments. You can't even do that, okay? It's just too much. When, when it's hurting, uh, when your legs are hurting, uh, two minutes is like an eternity, trust me. I know, I speak from experience, okay? Anh uh, có người nó hỏi với thầy, uh, cô này tới chiều tùa cả, cả tháng rồi, thiền cả tháng rồi, cô hỏi là uh, hình như là tới khoảng nhân nửa tiếng là cái chân, cái, cái chân người nó đau điếng là chịu không nổi nó ngồi thêm được nữa. So I ask, where does it hurt? Okay, she says it hurts around the hips, around the knees, okay, does the back hurt? Ah, you see, you don't have any back problems. But when, when, when you sit there and your hips hurt, that means you have circulation problems around the hips. Okay? Uh, of course, when you bend your knees, your knees are supposed to hurt because the blood is not circulating properly. But if you sit and your, your hips are hurting, you have circulation problems. It should not be the case. What about thighs? The thighs? The thighs? The thighs? The thighs? The thighs are 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 uh, unusual. The hurting uh, that quickly. Usually, the thighs should not hurt. Usually, it's the knees, and the hips will hurt. Okay. So what it means is that it means is that it means is that uh, if you continue to sit. like uh, we suggested earlier. You sit and you bear the discomfort right there, okay? What happens, your chi will, get, will push stronger, okay? 
It's hurting because the cheese is not coming around. It's being, it's, it's, it's going to bend here. The chi going to bend of your hips and your knees are just too much. That's why, that's why it's hurting because, because the chi, the blood is not flowing. Okay? So, if you keep, keep on sitting, you continue to sit a little bit longer each time, then your chi builds up. It pushes more and more and more until it clears it. Okay? And that, why, that is why our, this is the basis of our claims. You will get healthier because your chi grows stronger and will clear those blockages. Don't think that, uh, don't think that, uh, that uh, you're anything special. All of us have that problem. Okay? When you sit in meditation where it's hurting, the knees, the hips, the thighs, that means you have problems there. Yes? Uh, for my example, about three years ago, I had a sciatic nerve uh, problem, mm -hmm. and then I went into the hospital and the whole thing, and I couldn't move. And Where is that? Where? It's starting from, from here all the way down, in the back leg, right there. Uh -huh. um, Sci sciatic nerve. Yeah. Uh -huh. it's all right. From vertebrae all the way down to the bottom of your feet. Okay. So that was okay, but then I, when I started to do meditation, mm -hmm. I forgot about sitting there. Mm -hmm. The pain is just unbearable coming from here, mm -hmm. from back of thigh. Mm -hmm. um, and I couldn't understand why. My knee didn't hurt, my leg didn't hurt, just mm -hmm. only that. Mm -hmm. And then one day it just clicked. I said, oh my gosh, that's my sitting nerve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, it hurts a lot more than normal, right? Yeah, it's really... I mean, it's very, very painful. Suffering. Yeah, and then? It was getting better, mm -hmm. but then I was doing meditation with a cushion. Mm -hmm. The moment you took out the cushion, uh -huh. it all started again. So I'm like back to almost the beginning. Yes. Mm -hmm. So is it still hurting now? It's still hurting, but it was getting better because my meditation was getting better. Mm -hmm. But with that, taking the cushion out, mm -hmm. it made a huge difference. Yes, the angle is different. Yeah, so now it got flare again. It's, it's going away, but still, it's, I think that pain is still there because it never got really healed properly mm -hmm. three years ago. Mm -hmm. Really? It, it could be that bad. Uh -huh. But just just explanation of a certain area in your body is, is not, it's, it's weak and it will show up during your meditation. That's right. That's precisely the point. When you, when you meditate and wherever it is hurting, it's an indication there's a, there's a malfunction in the body. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it, 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 it forces these problems to, to the surface. Okay? And uh, the part, the, the thing about meditation, time meditation is, is supervised training. Don't be, don't, don't overdo it. You only face it, you do it incrementally. Be very patient. Because remember, the problem you have right now took a long time to develop. So, so you can gradually remove, resolve the problem. Don't, you can't fix it in one day. Okay? One week. Okay? But if, it hurts like that, you continue to bear it incrementally. Every time you incrementally bear with it, you're healing it. You will not, you will not get in trouble. You, increment, you incrementally, you increase your sit incrementally, small bits at a time, 30 seconds at a time, one minute at a time, two minutes at a time. Okay? then you will not hurt yourself. Okay? If you really have a uh, real, real serious concern, then come and see me. But if you do it on your own, do it like in small increments, it's very safe because your body can take it. Your body can, can bear, bear with the discomfort incrementally. 
Okay? By the way, when you do that, your concentration power increases at the same time. Okay? So don't be afraid of the discomfort at all. Okay? So the answer, the answer is, is that the sciatic nerve actually, if you keep on sitting like that, eventually it will, it will get better. Okay? Uh, don't be afraid. Um, if you're really concerned about that, recite the uh, Medicine Master Mantra. Okay? It's going to help you heal even quicker. Okay? Yes? Yes, absolutely. How is that different? How is it different? Uh, it's um, more powerful than Chi Kung or Tai Chi. So much more powerful. How uh, is it different? The question is, Tai Chi and Chi Kung are different. The thing is, 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 the yeah, the Tai Chi and the Qi Kong, okay, uh, they, uh, the way that they, uh, they, 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 they manipulate your Qi, okay, through, through motions of the body, or through manipulation of the Qi flow, okay, uh, those are still based on your conscious mind. You manipulate it. Okay, and what they don't realize is this. I'm talking a very advanced. I'm giving you a very advanced answer because they don't understand it. That's why, from my perspective, they don't quite understand it. That's why their their practice is like for lower level people. The reason that your chi is not flowing strongly in your body is, is because it's your mind who's obstructing it. That's what they have yet to understand, the Tai Chi and Qigong people. The Tai Chi people have to go very, very slowly. So what are you doing? You use your mind to slow things down, right? So in, in doing that, you're obstructing your own Qi flows. You're improving it a little bit, but it's not as its best. So far, so good? Yes, you're helping by slowing down. And, pay, and concentrate on the motion. So you see, the key they're doing is concentration. You see that? It takes a lot of concentration and goes slow. Okay? Yeah. And normally your mind is what? Jumping around. So how, now you're forcing yourself to concentrate. Okay? So this concentration here is a, is a, is a form of concentration. People don't realize, realize it's not slowness. It's a concentration, forcing yourself to concentrate. Okay? And it's a form of meditation. Meditation is, does not need to go through the physical movement of the Tai Chi in order to concentrate. We have a better way to help you concentrate. So far, so good? Okay, that's point number one. Qi Kung, on the other hand, manipulates you by 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 thinking, okay? Again, the thinking process is manipulation of the mind, okay? They manipulate, they, they, they envision the chi going through channels and, and going out of your feet and up the top of your head and merging with the chi universe. So imagination. Okay? Uh, in using your imagination, you are, you are improving your concentration. At the same time, again, the same problem is that you're interfering with the chi by using your mind to manipulate it. Okay? Here's my point. If you understand meditation, like the Buddha, like a Chan patriarchs, they understand meditation because they reach a state of mind where they are no longer interfering with the chi flows. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then they're at, then the chi is the strongest. Yes? Um, how would you define chi and 
The key is the, uh, the life force energy that flows through your body. It's a known thing that the acupuncturists or the herbal uh, medicine doctors, they, they learn how to manipulate them, those, those meridian, those chi uh, channels in the body. Okay? Uh, they, based on the Eastern uh, medicine, Eastern culture, the chi is a life force. It's tied directly, has a direct link to your health, your well-being. So if, uh, if you're not well somewhere, then it means that chi is being blocked a certain part of the body, and so they use, manipulate things to, to unblock it. So it's a, it's a, it's a known Eastern medicine um, um, knowledge that uh, the chi is a life force that we all have. Okay? And, uh, and they're actually, they're, the Chinese have, have, um, have, uh, have um, a model. Okay, here's, here's the model of the, uh, the, the, um, the, the Chinese knowledge. Mình uh, cái khí là cái gì? Câu hỏi khí là cái gì? Khí là theo cái, cái, cái đồng truyền, truyền, uh, truyền thống của Đông Y, uh, người, người, người Á Đông, uh, thì cái khí nó có ba, nó ba, ba, ba cái khí cận. Now I'm teaching you this. Okay. The three aspects to you, the functioning of your body. Okay. Okay. Yes. How come you have one? So that it's easy to fall asleep. Okay. You see how my monks when they meditate, they go. Okay. <laughs> And, they, and then they, they, after they sleep, they get up, they're happier. No? <laughs> yeah, they, they doze off. Yeah. Next time you come, and uh, during between 9 and 10 o'clock, you pay attention to the monks, they all are dozing off. And you see them get up, and they look, all look happier. No, actually, what it does is that one way, one reason why you want to close your eyes is that there's, uh, you're not distracted by things you see, because when you open your eyes, you're always looking for things. So in meditation, one of the techniques we use is we close our eyes so that we are no longer looking for things. So it's less distractions. Okay? Does it help? Good question. Okay, going back to the chi thing. Um, so there's a three models in in a, in a Chinese uh, the Chinese wisdom. Uh, it's your in your will that leads the qi, which leads the blood. And you remember that? Yi, qi, xue. Yi nó dẫn khí, nó dẫn cho khí huyết. That's Chinese wisdom. Yi, qi, xie. What's the last one? Xie. What does that mean? Xie means blood. Hmm? What does it mean? E. Will. Will. What is it? What is it? Um, you resolve to do things? Paying attention. In this model here, E means you pay attention. Sheng E. You give rise to the thought. You say, okay, so ý, cái ý đó, nó dẫn cái khí, nó dẫn cái huyết. Okay, so what does it mean? That if you pay attention to a spot like here, see the model? You pay attention to your knee, then the chi will grow there, will be directed there. It's like 
sending a G army by focusing here. Cái này nó quan trọng ý dẫn khí của khí quý vị chú ý tới chú ý là chú ý đó. chú ý. Okay, you pay attention, then the chi will be packing there, will go there, will be directed there, and by when the chi goes there, then the blood will go there as well. The blood follow the chi. You understand the model? This is very, very wise with Chinese wisdom. This is why I'm so enamored with Chinese, the Chinese culture. They're so profound. Think about it. You pay attention to a certain spot in your body, the chi will then be sending there, will be sent there more strongly. And when the chi is going there more strongly, then the blood flows there more strongly. Have you got it? Okay. Thế nghe nghe cái 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 văn hóa người người Trung Hoa hay vậy sợ. Cái đó là cái rất đúng. So what does it mean? How does it mean to you? What does it mean to you? What does it have to do with you? When you sit in meditation, when you sit in meditation, and it hurts around the hips, okay? Cái này có nghĩa là sao? Lúc khi người ngồi thiền đó. Cái, cái, cái hông nó bị đau. What does it mean? What do you do? You say, oh, it hurts. Right? My hip is hurting. So what do you do? You're thinking about it, aren't you? You're paying attention to where it hurts because you cannot think about anything else. Okay? Ngồi cái hông nó đau, hông nó đau, vì vì phải chú ý cái đau. So that is called chú ý. You're paying you pay attention to where it hurts. Right? Chú ý. Right? Chú ý. Là cái ý đó. What does it mean when chú ý? Then, the chi grows there stronger, right? You're forcing your chi there. Okay? Lấy khí nó, nó tự động nó sẽ dẫn tới đó. Nó chạy tới đó. Khí tới thì sao? Huyết nó sẽ tới. When, you, you, when the, the chi goes there, then the blood will flow there. That's why you're unblocking it. Yes. Yes, Ikaro. That's right. That's right. So he has surface to function. Very good. He has potential. What he's, you know what he's talking about is very, very, very wise. Number one, the reason is very beneficial for you when you sit in meditation and it's uncomfortable is that, first of all, it helps bring out, bring to light where you have physical problems in your body. Don't think you're young, you have, any, have no problems. Young and old are all alike. We all have physical problems. This is why we have a human body. Human body is full of illness. I'm sorry. I don't care who, how young you are, how old you are. It's all the same. We all have illness. Okay? Various degrees of severity. Okay? Uh, so, uh, when you, when Ikaru said it's, it's right, when you pay, when you, when, 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 uh, when you, 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 it hurt, then you pay attention to it, then it is actually you, you, you're dealing with, with uh, healing, uh, physical healing. Physically, you're healing yourself. But mentally, he's, what he also said is, is incredibly uh, accurate, wise as well. When you focus attention to the, the where it's hurting, actually you're cleansing your, your head. You're reducing your false thinking, your thoughts from jumping around, okay? You minimize that. So you're also cleansing your own mind. That's incredible. I don't know. He probably learned Chan before in a prior life because it's 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 very good. Okay. So the insight. Oh, hi. Come in. <laughs> uh, so. So what happens, going back to the chi model, you see, 
when you're sitting there, okay? You're sitting in meditation, and then it hurts, okay? So what happens is that you chew e, uh, you pay attention to where it's hurting. That's why the cheese is growing there more strongly, the blood flow there. So you see, for example, when it hurts around the knee, uh, the, uh, the, the hips, because, uh, because uh, you have circulation problems right there, remember? Okay, the, the fundamental thing is you cannot, you, your body is dying because the blood doesn't get there anymore. Eventually you have to cut it off. Okay, like especially like the diabetes. If you, you're diabetic and you take a lot of medication or uh, inject insulin, um, the, the chi flows weaker and weaker towards the, the feet, the toes. And eventually, the chi is so weak that the blood doesn't get to the, 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 the toes anymore and they have to lop it off. They don't realize it. All they have to do to avoid the problem is cross the legs. They don't have to cut off the, uh, their, their toes. And amazingly, if you tell them that, they will not believe you. They think you're full of it. They'd rather cut their legs off. So they keep, them, they keep them cutting it off because the chi gets weaker and weaker and weaker. You see that? You see the model? Chu yi leads to the chi, leads to the, the blood flowing there. That's how you, you heal yourself. As long as the blood gets to the organ, it will not die. If it doesn't get there, it will, it would, will, you need to remove it. Does that answer your question, the chi? Okay. So the chi is a very important part of your, 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 your body, uh, your, 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 uh, your existence. You need to keep the chi flowing strongly throughout your body. So the question, going back to the question, what's the difference between Chan and Tai Chi and Qigong? In Chan, just like Qigong and Tai Chi, we start first by using physical things to help you calm down. But the main thing is that our method of training helps you concentrate much, much, develop concentration much faster than Qigong or Tai Chi, number one. Okay? Number two, the main, second major difference between Chan and Tai Chi and, and, uh, and, and uh, Qigong is that, is that uh, not only our, uh, uh, our training is, will, uh, is more directly uh, aimed at developed concentration, okay? but our training will bring you a lot further than Qigong and Tai Chi. Okay? Because the Qigong and Tai Chi, if you look at the level of Qigong and Tai Chi, the highest level of Qigong and Tai Chi you, you can attain is this much, then Chan is this much, much higher, much, much higher. There's no comparison when you go up there. Okay? Uh, go up there, you know, the, the Tai Chi people and the Qigong people have, have no way to keep up with Chan. Why? Because they're still stuck on the model of the true Yi. The Chan transcends it. Okay? Because when you still chew eat, then you still, you still are limited by your conscious mind. But they don't realize that Chi is the strongest when you have no mind. You understand that? See the model? As long as you keep on concentrating, it's limited by your concentration power. Agree? If you remove that conscious thinking, then the concentration power is limitless. That's a Chan model that the Chinese don't understand yet. Okay, so that's why the Chan patriarchs, they reach a level where they have no conscious mind, and they realize the chi is the strongest. It's invincible. You can't stop it. Okay? Does it answer your question? It's a far superior technique, by the way. And it shows, by the way, allow me to explain a little more. 
it shows because it, it, it shows because if you compare the people who go to Tai Chi uh, class and the Qigong class, I have so many of them coming from a Tai Chi class or Qigong background, a combination of them, okay, even both. They come and study Chan, they realize that Chan, they make progress a lot faster than Chan, in Chan. And it turns out, by the way, okay, yeah, I, uh, they, they, they surpass their, their Tai Chi and Qigong teachers. I remember my, my, uh, one of my uh, earlier disciples, uh, she was a, a, a practiced Tai Chi for 20 years uh, uh, and Qigong for 10 years or something like that. And, and um, so she enamored with it. And she came to me and I said, you know, I heard about Chan. Can you teach me Chan? She said, yeah, okay, I'll teach you about Chan. And uh, I said, uh, and she told me about uh, the Grand Master in Qigong in China. And, uh, and I said, uh, you practice Chan, I will tell you that it won't be long before you will surpass your Grand Master's level. Your concentration power will be higher than his. And she did. She did surpass him. Anyway, thành cái khí công với tài chi là cái phương pháp luyện mà không hiểu hiểu bằng thiền tông, tại thiền tông mình 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 uh, phát triển cái, cái, cái sức chú ý nó, nó, nó lẹ hơn và cái phương pháp hữu hiệu hơn uh, tại sao tại cái khí công với là với tài chi họ vẫn dùng cái ý để dẫn cái khí cách luyện họ như vậy thì mình bên tài thừa mình cũng có phương pháp bắt đầu như vậy thì cuối cùng cái, 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 cái trình độ thiền tông nó cao hơn là trình độ của khí công với tài, tài, tài chi là tại vì uh, cái thiền tông mình khi các tổ sư ta tu ta, ta đạt thảo hiểu được cái thiền rồi ngài các ngài thấy rằng cái vô ý đó nó dẫn cái khí nó còn mạnh gấp mấy lần vô tận hơn là dùng cái ý để mà dẫn khí thành thì nó so sánh được cái thiền thông thì nó so sánh được với tâm tài chi với, với khí công trình độ uh, cái khí công với, với tài chi thấp thiền hơn tu thiền mình xa lắm thì nó so sánh được đánh đa những cái người mà học trò mà từ thầy rất nhiều học trò mà tới học từ nguồn gốc từ tài chi mấy chục năm à, khi công mấy chục năm mà tới để học thiền với thầy thầy nói thế họ tiến bộ lẹ hơn lúc trước mà họ cũng có mặt thầy của họ luôn bởi vậy thầy cũng có thi giờ thầy dạy tài chi với khi công thiền mình nó, 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 nó hay hơn nhiều tại sao đi dạy mấy cái pháp cái môn làm gì that's why uh, some of my colleagues some from master or disciples they would uh, we teach uh, uh, Tai Chi and Qigong and so on. We don't teach it because I feel as it's not very good use of your time. For the same amount of time in your practice in Chan, you get much bigger, much better results than you were to practice Tai Chi and Qigong. That's my personal feeling. That's why I don't teach it. Okay? Any other questions? I thắc mắc gì khác không? It's, uh, uh, it's uh, past 11, so let's go have some lunch. And uh, uh, and um, we didn't have a chance to answer the question to that uh, the internet question, but uh, maybe another day. Okay, thank you. <laughs>